Now, if you've seen dozens of motorcycles driving through Allen County over the weekend, there's a reason for it. Multiple motorcycle groups spent Saturday riding for safe haven baby boxes. Fox 55's Drew Fry explains how advocates say these boxes can forever change and save lives. Dozens of motors rev up as bike after bike pulls into a Fort Wayne parking lot. Monica Kelsey is thrilled her second annual flock for the box can bring out the United Motorcycle Enthusiasts and the Handsome Boys Motorcycle Club, all to support infants surrendered into safe haven baby boxes. As a child who was abandoned as an infant, um, I take great pride in this job and to see people just surround themselves with us um, and these babies that we've been saving uh, really just speaks volumes about their character. These guys are the real deal. Motorcyclists spent Saturday driving through Allen County before stopping here at a local bowling alley for music, food, and a live auction. Their goal, to raise money and awareness for safe haven baby boxes across the Midwest. Fort Wayne has, you know, has had babies placed in our boxes, two of them in uh, New Haven baby box, uh, one in the Woodburn fire station. Um, so we see the need even in our own community. We're a national organization that is literally keep, keeping babies out of dumpsters and, and safe in electronically monitored boxes. And Jennifer Melgoza knows firsthand how those boxes can impact lives. Her adoptive daughter Grace was surrendered in a baby box a little less than two years ago. I think that seeing baby Grace, not just, you know, to put her out there, but to see the outcome, you know, she, she is one of those babies. And if it wasn't for her mother making that choice, we have no idea what her story could have ended up being. Melgoza has been blown away by the response from so many local motorcyclists. And Kelsey hopes to build on that community support to expand her organization's reach even further. Well, we're currently uh, legal in 10 states um, and I've got 40 more states to go. So uh, that is my goal and hopefully I'll be, re be able to retire once we get in all 50 states and, and then hand this organization off to maybe baby Gracie, you know, or another one of our babies that have been surrendered the way I was. There are currently over 60 baby box locations in the state of Indiana. In Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News. Melgoza also says that even if you can't donate time or money to the events, it doesn't take too much to share a post and each share could help that information get it to someone who needs it.